The Prayer That Makes God Smile by Stormy O'Martin. You make God happy. That's because he loves you. God loves all little boys and girls. He loves you when you do good things like helping others. But he also loves you even when you do things that are not so good. Like forgetting to put your toys away. God loves you when you're happy. And he loves you when you're sad. God loves you when you're sleeping. And he loves you when you are awake. There is never a time that God does not love you. Thank you, God, for loving me all the time. God shows his love for you by giving you good food to eat, clean water to drink, and a warm, cozy place to live. He also shows his love by giving you the rain and the sun, the flowers and the trees, and adorable animals like puppies and kittens to enjoy One of the most wonderful ways God shows his love for you is by giving you a family. Thank you, God, for my family and for all the other gifts you give to me. Another way God shows his love for you is by giving you his word to read. When you read the Bible, it makes God happy. That's because the Bible teaches you how to know and obey God and how to do what is right. God gives us rules to live by because he loves us and doesn't want us to get hurt. When you obey God's rules and do what is right, God is happy. Thank you, God, for giving me the Bible to read. Help me to obey your rules. God loves you so much that he always listens to you when you talk to him. Talking to God is called praying. He loves it when you talk to him. Your prayers make God happy. Make time you spend, make sure you spend time with him. God is happy when you ask him for the things you need. God also wants you to ask him for the things you want. There's a difference between the things that you need and the things that you want. The things you need are what you must have in order to live, like a home, clothes to wear, or something to take when you are sick that will help you get well. The things you want are things you don't have to have in order to live, but you want them anyway, like a bicycle to ride, a fun game, or a new friend to play ball with. God always gives us what we need, but he doesn't want, but he doesn't always give us what we want. That's because God knows what is best for us. He gets to decide if he will give us what we want or not and he decides when to give it to us. We can trust him to do the right thing for us because he loves us so much. Thank you, God, for giving me everything I need. Thank you for giving me the things that I want that are good for me. It makes God happy to hear all of your prayers, but there is one prayer that God loves the most. And that is the prayer you pray when you ask Jesus to come into your heart. This is the prayer that makes God smile. God loves you so much that he sent his son Jesus to earth to save you. That's why he is called your savior. He saves you from ever having to be separated from God. When you receive Jesus... It means that someday you will go to heaven and live with God. Jesus said that the only way to get to heaven is by receiving him into your heart first. We can't find the way without Jesus. Heaven is a wonderful place. In heaven, you will never get sick and you will never be hurt. In heaven, there are no bad people and nothing scary ever happens there. That means you won't ever be afraid or sad. In heaven, you will be happy all the time. God wants you to be in heaven with him one day. That's why he sent Jesus to help you get there. But Jesus doesn't just help you get to heaven. He helps you in every day, every way here on earth. He helps you uh, by being with you all the time. He helps you by listening to you and answering your prayers. Jesus helps you by giving you everything you need. He helps you by being with you when you are sick and comforting you when you get hurt. 
That's why Jesus is God's greatest gift to us all. Jesus is the most important name in the world. Once you invite Jesus into your heart, you can call his name and he will be right there beside you. You can't see the air, but you know it's there. You can't see Jesus, but you know he is there. He has promised to be with you forever. He never breaks his promise. Just as the air is always there to keep you alive, Jesus is always there giving you life too. Dear Jesus, thank you that you will always be here with me. When you pray to receive Jesus into your heart, you become one of God's special kids. He is your friend forever, and you can talk to him whenever you want. If something goes wrong, you can tell him about it, and he will help you. If you feel sad, you can share that with him too. He will help you feel happy again. And when you are having a good day, he will help you do good things for other people that will make them feel good too. Jesus said that those who believe in him will have their names written in a big book in heaven called the book of life. He said we should be very happy about that. When you receive Jesus into your heart, your name will be written in that book too. You get to make choices every day. You get to choose which toys to play with, which stories to read, which words to speak, and many other things. Receiving Jesus into your heart is also a choice that you get to make. Jesus wants you to choose to receive him. You get to decide when and you get to decide where. When you are ready to receive Jesus into your heart, you can say the prayer on the next page. You only have to say it once if you really mean it. Here's the prayer. Dear Jesus, I believe that you are the son of God. Please come into my heart to live. Forgive me for anything I have ever done wrong. Thank you that someday I will live in heaven with you. Thank you that you love me and will always take care of me. I love you too. Once you have said this prayer, you don't ever need to say it again. You can if you want to, but you don't have to because God has heard it and Jesus has come into your heart. But there is another prayer that God loves to hear you pray and you can say it every day if you would like to. It is the prayer on the next page and every time you pray it, it makes God happy. Dear Lord, thank you for saving me and for protecting me. Thank you that you will always forgive me for anything I do wrong. Thank you that someday I will live forever in heaven with you. Thank you for loving me. I love you too. The Bible says that every time someone receives Jesus as their savior, God's angels in heaven are very happy. They are happy because God is happy. Happy people smile and that makes others around them smile. If God and his angels are smiling, this must mean that the sun and the clouds and the flowers and the birds and the turtles and the rest of the animals are smiling too. And this means that the angels in heaven and all of God's creations on earth are smiling when you pray the prayer that makes God smile. Thank you, God, that you are always smiling down on me. The end.